No idea what happened there, by the way. That was very, very weird. No idea what happened. I do apologize. No idea what happened. It, are we back? Is it working? Give me, give me an all clear. Give me a yes, give me a no, give me a upside down, left side out. Give me, give me, give me something, something for me to go on. Is it all alright out there? Is it all alright? Hello? Is it all fixed? I don't know what happened, by the way. I, I don't know what happened. I think we're back up and running. I think that should be fine. But I'm not sure as of yet. You guys are going to have to give me, a, give me a sign in chat. Is it back up and running? Is it working fine? Because I'm just going to assume that it is. Because I think... I think it, it's it's all showing as uh, as working, so I'm just gonna take that as uh, as a positively. Um, you're not on the Patreon list for my back soon screen. Um, I don't. It's only Patreons above like a certain tier. I don't know what tier it is though. I don't know if um, I don't know if you're above that tier. I, I do not know. I'll check that. I'll uh, I'll check that very very soon indeed. I'll check that at the end of the stream. Um, okay, good. I don't know why that disconnection happened. That was very, very weird. Very, very weird indeed. Either way, we're going to continue to push out to the naval bases, which is exactly what we want to stop from happening. We, we don't want the enemies to ever get control of naval bases. And we want to stop them from ever doing that ever again. That's really, really irritating. It's irritating that... Irritating that the Soviet Union is also losing now. I got 34 troops here. 34 British troops. What the fuck? What the fuck is happening? Why? Why are there so many British troops? And why am I ma why am I barely managing to to get any anything done? Um okay, what we need to do, what we need to do as I was saying before the great disconnection, we need to get rid of all of this nonsense all of this nonsense um i think it might have been at my end i don't know why the the disconnection happened but it, i think it might have been at my end i don't know what it was though uh we're gonna cancel all i cannot cancel repair Are you for real for real for real right now it doesn't really matter okay military factories i'm gonna get lots of military factories in areas that i cannot be cannot be fucked up in we don't even have synthetic oil production yet so that's not even something that I want to go into. Okay. Military factories. Lots and lots of military factories. I also want to start the conversion of military factories. Should be fine. We're, we're going to be fine. I'm pretty confident that we're going to be able to get a lot of factories built pretty damned quickly, actually. Okay. There we go. That's that's a good number. That's a good number of military factories that we should be able to, to build. Um... The sooner, the better. The sooner, the better. The battleship is done. Fantastic. Uh, research slot. Maybe the battleship too? Yeah, I mean, why not? Uh, we do need a production efficiency cap, though. Uh, we'll, as soon as the destroyer is finished, we'll get the production efficiency cap. I'll also start producing uh, battleships rather than the shitty destroyers that we've currently got. Could create a variant if I wanted to with an extra gun. Sure. Why not? Why not? Battleship Mark 1. There we go. There we go. There we go. Alright. Honestly, Harkoni, I wouldn't worry about it, man. There's no sweat. Uh, where where the hell did all of my steel go? We've got 95 bloody rubber, but I don't know where any of the steel, steel went. Down here. That's the problem. That's the problem. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. There's no there's no easy way to do this, is there? It's just it's always a fucking shit show. It's just always a bloody shit show. Um what we could do actually is we could just line the troops along the the coast. That might be something that we could potentially consider doing. Uh naval doctrine fleet in being. Seventy one days? That's it's a long time actually. 
not really convinced that I want to do that. Uh, industry, the production efficiency cap is what I'm really interested in. There we go. 150 days. Honestly, going to be one of the most worthwhile pieces of technology that we've uh, that we've ever invested in. Okay, why are you retreating? Are you engaging with this boat? Look, just, just fuck them up. We can kick them out before they even have any presence. There we go. Look, see? Simple as that. We'll easily beat them here. I'm convinced that we'll beat them here. Come on. Come on. Jesus Christ. This entire area is just such a shit show. Oh, man. That sucks kind of hard, actually. And now we've got a lot of resources that we need. Yeah, we need, well, we need more steel for a start. Uh, let me import a little bit more steel. Could get away with it, but just one extra factory. Yeah, all right, I'm going to stick one extra factory on it. It's going to have to do for now. It's annoying that it has to be done that way, but whatever. Um, you... This army over here is doing well. This is the only army that we've got that's actually doing pretty darned well. Uh, I'm going to delete all of your orders. I'm also going to delete all of Mao's or orders. Mao, my man, you're going to come down here and you're going to deal with this section of things, right? Okay, you're going to deal with that area up to there. Okay, you, the Grumpage Army... The Grumpage Army is going to deal with things from this point. Excuse me? There we go. From this point upwards. Now, Grumpage has more troops, and therefore it should be easier for uh, for Grumpage to do that, and it should be easier for Mao to take out this little bottom bit. I think, I think this should lead to a little bit of a better layout of things that are happening. Resistance to occupation, I don't, I don't care. I don't care about resistance to occupation. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter at all. Hey, we've got a destroyer that's built. Lovely, wonderful, wondrous. Uh, we're building battleships instead now, which is much more bloody useful, I hope, than, uh, than, uh, than anything else. Dangerous naval invasion. Doesn't look like anything to me, although I'm sure something will come of it. And a dangerous naval invasion up here. Yep, looks that way. Let's just try and fix this shitty situation before it gets any worse. Honestly, the Naomi army... I, I just don't understand it. You should come there. You should come down here. Before things start spiraling out of control. The Naomi army could quite comfortably go and deal with this area, though. Right? Yeah, look, just just go and just go and protect that area. Just just fucking go and do it. Uh, Mao's army, are you in position yet? Almost actually in position. Almost to the point where we can confidently attack, but not quite yet. I'm afraid, not quite yet. Okay, just finishing off this little bit of India. That's good. At least we've got one army that's doing something, right? At least we've got one army that's doing something. Forces comparison, we are stronger. Indeed we are. In fact, we're so strong that we've actually successfully managed to get up to our offensive line, our front line that we were that we were aiming for. Did a pretty good job in that regard, actually. That's that's not bad at all. Um The next big The next big conquest is going to be up to the other side of India. And that is gonna be a big one. That's gonna be a really big one. Let's just have a little look at the battle plan and how it plans to unfold. Because the front line is going to be probably huge. Look at the size of that thing. Look at the size of that thing. That is ginormous. Yeah. Well, you know, we've got to be ambitious about this. We've bloody well got to be ambitious about it. Uh, when's our when's our next batch of troops coming out? I mean, we haven't had a batch of troops in bloody ages. Because we just don't have any equipment for them. We just have literally, literally zero infantry equipment. Yeah, literally zero infantry equipment. Which is just the worst feeling. 
Okay. You're gonna come down here. Whatever. You're gonna come down here. You're gonna come down there. Just everybody go and fight. Please, 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 please go and fight. And, of course, there's been another naval invasion over here. Let's get rid of this, because there's always a fucking naval invasion in the Chinese supermarket. Ugh, this is just not fun to deal with. We don't even have an army. We don't even have a fucking... Like, I, I, we don't even have a proper navy. It's just not possible to deal with. It's just not possible to deal with. Uh, Mao, what's this? What's the evaluation of um, of this plan? Some divisions still not in position. What divisions are not in position, and why are we not in position? Like, this should be sorted by now, buddy. Come on, get your shit together. Uh, you are pretty much ready to go as well. Yeah. Soon everybody's going to be in position. That's fine. There's no rush, apart from the fact that our country's being taken over by. Um, bunch of bastards, really. I mean, apart from that, there's pretty much no rush. You're trying to go up there. Why are you doing this? Garrison should mean that you defend the land. You don't run away from the, the area that you're trying to defend. It just doesn't make sense to me. Doesn't make sense to me. Okay, then you go here. Perfect. And then we win. That's how we do it. It's not, it's not bloody difficult, you know? It's not bloody difficult. Uh, you are engaging your plan, which is lovely, and I'm sure it'll be unbelievably successful, because I don't expect much resistance up here. I don't expect much resistance, much resistance at all. Let's have a look at the Allied battle plans. I presume this is Stalin's army. Yeah, that's cool. What's his What's his plans for uh, for Europe? Does he, does he even have any plans? I mean, that's an attack line. That's not much of a plan, buddy. You got a lot of your troops stuck over there. Are you planning on rescuing them, or are you just going to let them go? Um, at least we've captured through Romania again. That's, that's kind of nice. I tend to take off Allied battle plans, because it's not a very uh, not a very fun way to look at things. Also, does Stalin even have a fucking navy? Like, at all, buddy? Do you have any navy? You got 5,300 planes. Are these boats? Estimated number of convoys. I don't really care about convoys. I more care about, you know, well, anything really. Um, naval invasion in eastern India, whatever. Naval invasion. Targeting these states. Dangerous naval invasion. Naval invasion. Oh, there's a naval invasion fucking everywhere. But, you know, what would life be without a naval invasion? All right. Mao and this other guy, whatever his name is, I don't know what his name is, Liao Peng. Yeah, engage, engage the battle plan. In fact, you don't have a battle plan. It's probably worth making one for you. Yeah, all right, there. Is that even gonna like, what the fuck is up with that plan? Hey, you know, fuck me, right? There we go. All right, just attack. Everybody attack. There's apparently just, you know, random attacks are are clearly much better than a a coordinated, a coordinated thingamajigger, a coordinated attack. That's the word that I was looking for. All right. Well, there we go. You'll do that. You'll do that. Grand. Everybody, you know, everybody just do what you fucking feel like, really. Everybody just do what you feel like. Oh, France has managed to capture back their territory. Not surprising, considering there's, you know, naval invasion every 30 seconds. Um, so that's fun. That's really fun. You know, love a good old naval invasion that we have to take care of. It's just not fun in the slightest. Um, yep, yeah, you... Apparently, garrison just doesn't work, so I'm just going to assume that it doesn't work. We can't frontline along the coast. Um, honestly, I guess we just I guess we just try and repel. I guess we just try and repel pretty much anything that comes our way. I don't think there's much else that we can do. We just gotta just gotta try and repel them as they come in. But it's just an absolute shit show. It's just an absolute fucking shit show. 
Um, we're still nowhere near the number of guns that we actually need. Which is a real problem. Military factories take arguably too long to complete. Uh, how much is it to convert a civilian factory? Yeah, maybe it's just worth getting a bunch of civilian to military factories. Would that be more worth it? How much does it even cost? I don't even know how much it costs to, to do the transformation thing. Uh, we'll put you to the top of the list, I guess. 4th of June? Oh, that's actually really quick. That's actually really quick. It's much quicker than building new ones. Didn't really occur to me, that. But, um, sure, sign me up. Get me lots of military factories. Yep, lots and lots and lots of military factories. Hey man, sorry, I didn't, uh, I didn't notice you in chat. How's it going? Alright, there we go, there we go. Okay, so lots and lots of military factories. Like, pretty much all the military factories. Okay, this is actually remarkably positive, uh, and this should all be done pretty quickly, right? 7th of June, yeah, okay, so we're going to get a lot more military factories pretty soon. Which means we'll be able to build a lot more guns, which means that we're going to be able to train a lot more troops, which means that we're going to be a lot better equipped to fight this, you know, massive enemy, which is just completely shitting all over us, really. Uh, going to need to give you a nice little offensive line up there. Good, 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 and we'll get you to move out. Jesus Christ, what a fucking sad state of affairs. Japan, of course, has already made... Already made an insurgent uh, naval invasion onto the to the peninsula, the Korean peninsula, of course, because there's nothing that we can do about it. Surprise, surprise, surprise. France has taken back their, their land down here, which is where we were posting all of our boats. Not like it really matters, because our boats are pretty much worthless anyway. Um, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Well, at least we're doing well in India, right? Positive thinking, eh? Positive thinking. How's our supply route? I mean, not like it particularly matters. Our supply is actually completely fine. Holy shit. Yeah, our supply is really good, believe it or not. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought that our supply would be pretty damn good? Also, why is the Soviet Union... It's got so many troops here, but it just doesn't have the balls to attack the UK, apparently. Don't really understand what's going on. Um, Chinese revolutionaries who sympathize have made the decision. China, change in popularity, communist. Don't understand. Like, what is this? Um, also, how is the, the coup going in Finland? This must be almost done, right? Oh, God, no, it's got ages to go. 31st of January. That's another fucking six months. Jesus Christ. Okay, we, wel we welcome our communist brothers. That's, that's good, but it's not exactly uh, good enough. Your expeditionary force is being sent to Japan. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, can somebody send me some expeditionary forces? Because I'm not getting any of the expeditionary forces right now. In fact, I don't think I've had a single fucking expeditionary force this entire goddamn game. Uh, max factory output, max factories in a state plus 20%. Sure. Sure, sign me up. Also, I believe that we can get a guy that helps us with um, conversion speed, factory conversion speed. Civilian to military factory conversion cost, minus 20%. That would be kind of cool to get. If we had the uh, if we had the political capital to do that, I would probably, probably do that, actually. But as it stands, I don't. So I can't and I won't. Jesus Christ. All of this... All of this whole, you know... Going across India thing. Uh, suddenly it all just doesn't seem worth it, you know? If we're not... If we're not... If we're not, you know, managing to keep the uh, the territory... Behind us, it's uh, a little bit of a shame. War is going 1% in favor of aggression. I, I guess that means me, then? I guess I'm the aggressor. I didn't realize that I was the aggressor. I mean, I shouldn't really be. I should be the aggressor against, like, a bunch of different Chinese states. I shouldn't... It shouldn't fucking count as a, you know, being aggressive against the British Empire. I should have signed the, the, um, 
the peace agreement with the British Empire, but I didn't. I didn't do that, but I should have done it. And they shouldn't have attacked me, bloody hell. Considering I was only attacking Chinese countries, and only wanted to attack Chinese countries. I never wanted to attack the UK, just as a point of note. Never, never, never wanted to do that. But, you know, shit happens, I guess. Shit happens. Oh, by the way, um, to anybody who is, uh, to anybody who's around tonight in about uh, four and a half hours, give or take, uh, the Raptato is going to be on. So stay tuned for that. Streaming twice in one day. Well, technically not in one day. It's two days for me, but, you know, twice over the uh, a sh same short period of time. So you might want to stay tuned for that if you're interested in the Raptato. Uh because it's good fun. Don't know what we're going to be playing, though. Whatever it is, you know, it's got the classic orbital seal of approval. Which you just can't beat. You just can't beat it. Alright. Have we won this battle yet? Oh my god. This is probably the most annoying campaign on a... On a, on a naval invasion level in the world. Um, it's 1 a.m. for me. It's 1 a.m. for me the, the, when I stream. But uh, for American time, it works out a lot better, at least uh, for the Raptato. And Rhapsody, of course, being in whatever, Australia. Poor guy. Poor fucking guy. Uh, it might be cancelled, but, uh, you know, it'll probably be on tonight. Okay, finally, we've almost bloody managed to take this. Take this whole, whole territory, swathe of land back. Just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Bloody nuisance, really. Uh, construction, we're still converting these bad boys, which should be done 17th of July. 17th of July. United States stands against fascism. The German Reich will fall. Pretty certain that the German Reich has actually already fallen, but I guess that's just a matter of opinion, really. Um, support equipment. Fuck support equipment, I guess. Fuck support equipment. <laughs> uh, fuck, I'm not even, gonna, not even gonna fucking bother. Fuck naval dockyards. Completely unnecessary. Send you to the top. You to the top. You to the top. Um, let's make yet more inventory equipment. Let's fill that out. Let's get rid of some of our anti-tank production, some of our artillery production. Yeah, and honestly, we could probably do with getting another inventory. Inventory? Uh, yeah, inventory uh, weapons. We really, really could. I'd equip you as fool. Okay, uh, that might mean that we get our shit together, but if we have a look, little, little look at logistics, you can see that we're still missing 500 per day. 500 per day. 500 per day. I mean, that's not even close. I mean, we're missing 28 of you, 77 of you, 570. It's closer to fucking 600, for God's sake. It's closer to 600. United States has declared war on the German Reich. Good, 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 good job, buddy. Good job. Um, I'm going to improve relations with you. Um, yeah, let's try and improve relations with, uh, with these guys. Soviet Union annexes Tanu Tanu. Oh, no. So now, are we at war with them? We are going to be soon if we're not already. There we go. There we go. We're now officially at war with the United States. <sighs> Could it get any more difficult? Could it get any more difficult being constantly bombarded by naval invasions, which I have mm, effectively a 0% chance of ever getting rid of? I mean, they're not going to stop coming, are they? They're just not. There's nothing I can do about it. There's literally nothing that I can do about it. I mean, we've got this 24 million of manpower, right? But we've got zero weapons with which to do anything. Alternatively, what we what we can do is we could just decide to go back to inventory weapons one. 
because inventory weapons too take more effort to produce. So let's just switch that over, right? Let's switch that over. So we're going to go from 2.38 per day to 3 per day. 136 per day to 102 per day, but our production cap is going to get much bigger. Honestly, let's go back to weapons 1. It sounds like a totally shitty thing to do, but it might actually mean that we just have more stuff to do. I have more stuff to actually just throw at the enemies. Uh, can we do badass Bulgaria next? Yeah, I'm certainly going to do a European country next, whether it be like Romania or Bulgaria or Greece or Yugoslavia. I'm certainly going to do another uh, European country because I had a lot of fun with the UK and um, I want to do something like that again. Oh, what is this? This is the Soviet Union troops? Okay, don't understand why they're all the way over there, but ah, whatever. Do what you want to do, I guess. Uh, is the British Raj must be almost ready to capitulate. I mean, where's the capital of the British British Raj? I mean, Kabul? No, that's that's Afghanistan. Do we already have the capital? Human wave offensive. Beautiful. I think that's our no, our almost our last. Uh, out of supply minus thirty. Great. Cool. Two hundred thirty-four days for the very last part of our doctrine. I'll get that. I, I, whatever. Sign me up. Get me a, a ticket. Get me a ticket. Jesus Christ. Free dockyards? Honestly, dockyards can go fuck themselves. Fuck dockyards, man. Fuck dockyards. 74 military factories. Civilian factories from occupation. 39. Civilian factories in use. 61. Okay, so we've got 61 civilian factories. That's actually a relatively large amount that I would still love to convert. Excuse me? Where is it? Constructions. There we go. I would still love to convert them. M the more military factories, the better, really. Um, I just want to keep on building military factories all day long. Yeah, convert one civilian to one military factory. I want to do that pretty much everywhere. Um, as much as we can, I'm going to continue to try and do that. Okay, here we go. Even though it's going to hurt us, it's still absolutely worth it. Yeah, just convert them along the way. All the way into India. That's right. All of them. Just take them all. Turn them into military war producing machines. Um, and put them all to the top. Hold on a second. Put them all to the top. Yep. You, 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 and you. Yeah, put them all to the top. Prioritize turning them into civilian, uh, turning them into military factories before building new ones. Because honestly, we've got enough civilian factories to, I think, carry us through. At least for a decent amount of time. Okay. You're going to be completed on the 16th of August. That's like no time at all. That's like absolutely no time at all. Um, yeah, good. Good job. And the more military factories that we have, obviously, the better. So it works for me. Works for me. Works for everybody. Happy days. Ah, oh, man. All right. There's a fleet in there. Okay, well, we can't do anything about that. Seems that we've successfully managed to defend against the uh, the invasion. Lovely. Good on us. Congratulations to us. Congratulations to us. Congratulations to us. I don't feel good about it because France has since regained their entire foothold in the region. So that's fantastic, if you ask me. 10 out of 10 would complain about it again. Um, we're getting that. We're getting that. We're getting synthetic oil. I don't care about synthetic oil. I don't care about anything, really. Fighters? Nope. Navy is dead to me. It's completely worthless. Uh, our land doctrine we're working on. Armor? No desire at all to build armor. Literally only a desire to build weapons. That's literally all I have a desire to build. It's, uh... It's, it's small arms or no arms, really. Uh, not going to get encryption. It could get encryption, actually. That's a really good idea. Um... Yeah, let's get encryption. 85 days is not a lot of time to sink into some research. 
Assembly line production! Oh my goodness, it's gonna help us so much. It's gonna allow us to build all of the juicy, 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 juicy weapons that we want to build. Oh man, it's gonna be great. Resistance to occupation. Really? Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Man, we are wrecking India. India has got nothing. This is actually remarkably good for us. Well, hey, assembly line production. We did it. And now we can go for... Uh, either or. It doesn't really matter which one of these we go for. We are going to go for one of them. Uh, production efficiency retention plus 50% or production efficiency growth plus 25%. Uh, production efficiency growth. In fact, maybe retention. Maybe retention, actually. And we're going to go for retention, because one day we are going to want to switch over from Inventory Equipment 1 to Inventory Equipment 2. I mean, it's going to be very, very, very far down the line, but it's going to it's going to happen eventually. And when we do, we want to make sure that we retain as much of that production efficiency as possible, considering, you know, we've worked on it for, uh, for bloody ages. I mean, we've kind of expanded, but we've also kind of lost territory, which is not thrilling. Um, you know... Yeah, not great. Not great, but kind of good, I guess. Yeah, let's get these dudes to go and chill out over this away. Okay. Fingers crossed we'll be able to finish this up nice and quick. And then we can move on to something else. But don't worry, I'm... You know, I, I just... I can feel it in my bones. There's gonna be... Well, there's a, na a, na a brand new naval invasion that's just touched down over here. Fantastic. Um, so that's really annoying, uh, and there's nothing that we can do about that, of course. You know, standard stuff, really. Um, we should be moving into this territory. We should be capturing it all pretty darn quick. But at least we'll be getting India, right? At least we'll be getting India. India is going to go down pretty darn hard. I'm not going to bother continuing to, you know, pump a lot of socialist points into it, or communist points into India, considering they're already going to be going our way. Might as well just take the opportunity to, uh, to just fuck them. Just, just fuck them. Yeah. Miles Dempsey. Oh, oh, good, oh, good job, old chap. Fantastic. Miles Dempsey. What a, what a great name. Miles Dempsey. Okay. You are going to go around here, and then, okay, grand, and then we'll set a goal of all the way down here. Yeah, let's rethink that, actually. All the way down. There we go. Perfect. See? It wasn't even that difficult. Wasn't even that difficult. Free military factories. We've got some free military factories. Who would have thunk it? Uh, let's get more production of Weapons 1. Why not? Why the hell not? Um, how did France get back into here? The same way that France have gone pretty much everywhere. Same way that all of our enemies have gone anywhere. Fucking naval invasion. That's all it's about, really. It's all about the, the humble naval invasion. I don't know how they've got the troops to sustain it, quite frankly, but... They're doing a damned good job of it. They're doing a damned good job of it. Uh, apparently, we're supposed to cross this water. I don't really want to do that. But I guess we will. We've got a manpower of 50 million, and there's nothing that we can do about it because we don't have enough weapons. Yep. Yeah. That's uh, it's pretty rubbish, actually. Pretty damned rubbish. India's troops are all holed up over there. That's fine. Dangerous naval invasion. Is there anything that I can actually do about that? I mean... I do not even know. I mean, I can't draw a front line here. I can't garrison this area. A fallback line? Maybe. Will this actually make a difference? If I can just put like a, f like a line of troops just along the entire bloody coast. 
Wait a minute. Up here. And then around to there. Yeah, will that will that make a difference? Uh, and then equip all of Mao's dudes to over here. No. Over here. Mao, excuse me, buddy. Over here, buddy. Control right click. Yeah. There we go. Okay, 24 divisions. That's that's fine. Okay, let's yeah, let's just put people up here. Just, you know, have somebody along this entire stretch. No, okay. This you don't you're not seeing what I want you to do, game. I want you to Okay, fine. Let me try again. Let me try again. Uh, how is Europe looking? I will check in just a second. If you bear with me. No, I don't want to go through there. All right. I'm going to try tracing this perfectly because otherwise apparently the game freaks out and couldn't have that happening. All right. Okay, up here, around here, down there, down there. Perfect, right? 24 divisions, the Harkoni army. That's good. Let's just get that set up so that no more naval invasions come in. Please, God, no more naval invasions. Uh, Europe is looking kind of swell for us, actually. That's not bad. Are we at war with Poland? We're not actually at war with Poland. Um, British Raj capitulated. Oh, ahoy, mateys. That's, uh, that is, that is good. That is good. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That is actually a rather significant target. I mean, it doesn't change a goddamn thing, but um, that's good. That's really good for us. That is really good for us. Um, pretty happy with that, actually. You, you're moving into position. Fine. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty damned happy with that. Where are you even going? What what are you even doing? Are you not just going to spread out along this line? What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh. Okay, so there's there's apparently no command that I can actually stick in that's like Hey, guard the coasts, because otherwise we're going to have literal people coming up onto the beaches. Wow. Okay, um, I guess we can garrison the area, but that's literally about all that we can do. I mean, that's, that's, that's our best bet, but we all know how ineffective actually garrisoning is. We 100% know that. Uh... And now the purple army, the Andy army, is uh, is kind of lost, to be honest. Maybe we could fuck with Tibet? Mm, don't really think so. Well, who can we fuck with? Maybe we navally invade the UK? Maybe we do that, you know. Oh, sorry, wait, no. We're never going to be able to do that, because we don't have any navy or air force to clear the skies and or clear the seas. So that's just going to be completely not happening. Um, we could justify against Poland. Oh shit, we've got a non-aggression pact with Poland. Ah, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense, that's kind of cool. Huh, I didn't realize, but the fact that we've got a non-aggression pact with them is really good, actually. Uh, also, Finland's Wachimaduda should be almost finished. The coup should be, yeah, it's about, yeah, about two-thirds of the way there. Is it decent enough? Is it decent enough? Okay. Let's engage. Engage this offensive. Chinese offensive back down into Hong Kong again. Which is lovely. Honestly, all we care about is weapons. Weapons, small arms is pretty much exactly what we need right now. It's the only thing that's going to save us. The only damned thing that's going to save us. 
And I don't think it's going to save us fast enough, to be honest. I don't think we're going to be... Don't think that we're going to be succeeding. Nah. We might. You never know, but I'm just doubtful. Um, yeah, we don't have a single convoy, actually. I presume that we've got some... We might as well use our naval dockyards, right? And just build convoys, because convoys are what's used to transport people. Right? So we just stockpile them. We don't have to actually deploy them anywhere. And we get six point something a week. So that's not bad. And also build me battleships. Because why not? Alright, well, there we go. We can at least see what the heck happens. I'm not convinced. Also, um, our fighter situation is apparently that we are winning. Who knew? Who knew? I did not know. That's for sure. Uh, advanced computing machine, that's good. That's a little speed up to research. That's always lovely to see. Um, could get some more encryption. 79 days. It's not long to chuck it. Uh, a piece of tech that is potentially really, really useful. Yeah, so I'll, I'll take that. Uh, we're also continuing over there. That's good. We need to find something for this purple army to do. Oh, seems that there's been a little bit of a naval invasion. Who fucking knew? Who'd have, who'd have thought a naval invasion in this time? In this, in this game? No, don't be ridiculous. Uh, Iran, do you have any allies yet? You don't have any allies yet. I could really fuck with you. You got any allies yet? No, I, I could really fuck with you too, Afghanistan. I mean, we do actually control a large area. That's pretty decent. I'm going to justify against you, because fuck Nepal, really, eh? And I'm also going to justify against Tibet, because, you know, fuck it. Oh, did that say that it was going to increase world tension? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. What a shame. What a shame. What a bloody shame. So, yeah, how much world tension have we actually created? German Reich capitulated to the United Kingdom. All right, well, whatever. Who really cares? Doesn't really make a difference. How is the Nazis doing? How are the Axis doing? Everybody's capitulated, apart from nationalist Spain, who, by all means, should have capitulated by now, but are just are hanging on by a thread. You once generated 400% in this game. Is that even possible? I don't even know. Can you even go above 100%? I don't even know how that works. Yeah, I don't know how it works. Current wars. Are we... Is there anything that we're not involved in? I suppose we're not involved in the Polish-German war. Which Poland fucking destroyed them. Ah, oh, well. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, what's important is that the Soviets keep on winning. That is what matters to me. That is what matters. I mean, this game is, you know, it's broken in so many ways, isn't it? It really, really is. It's broken in a, a you know, in major ways. Uh, the AI is, uh, is is out of its face terrible. But, um, you know, you got to love it. It's a great game at its heart. And when Paradox release all of their DLC, so in like, you know, six years... It's going to be a truly great game. It's going to be truly, truly, truly a great game. My god, France looks scarily big. Even scarily bigger when you look at that big blob of Africa. I mean, UK looks kind of big too, I guess. And not to mention that it also owns South Africa. Yeah, that's cool. Everything's going over here. Oh, look, France France has got an army together. Oh, that's that's cute. That's cute, France. That's cute. Naval invasion. Are you going to defend against this place? I don't. What's, what's going to happen? Oh, I saw something flash up there. Is there a naval invasion? Oh, thank God. We defended it. Okay, Naomi Army. I'm going to put you on garrison this area. This area, this area, this area, this area, this area, this area. And this area. You think you can do that? I'm sure you can. I'm 100% confident in your ability to do exactly what I just said. Okay, how are we doing for weapons now? Holy shit, we're actually getting our act together. 
Um, inventory equipment. Oh my god, we're actually in positives. We're in positives. Oh my god, we only need to catch up. Minus 37k. Wow. Wow. With our current production of inventory equipment, the shortage will last for 66 days. Wow. You know, see, that's that's actually really good because the shortage is going to last for a lot, lot shorter than that. Um, and the reason that it's going to last for a lot, lot shorter than that... Uh, also, it's about time that I go and select more of you to do. There we go. Excuse me? There we go. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, it's... It's good. It's good that we're doing that because our production efficiency cap is only going to rise, and it's and when it rises, it's gonna, it's gonna stick at the top. You know, we're gonna be producing so many weapons that uh, it really is gonna be very scary. Okay, let's create a front line. Can't create a front line yet. We'll be able to create a front line eventually. I guess we can create a front line over um, here. Sure, go create a front line over there. And then attack there, and then just engage straight away. Not like it really matters at all. Uh, have we been navally invaded again? I wouldn't be surprised if we had, quite frankly. Uh, what about the air superiority over this region? Oh, we still control it. We still can still control it. How did you accomplish doing all of this? Um, watch yesterday's VOD, I did it all on stream yesterday, uh, but if you want me to summarize, how did I accomplish doing all of this? Uh, we started as the, uh, we started as the, uh, People's Republic of China, we attacked a lot of little Chinese sub-states, I guess you could say, then we attacked big fake China, uh, the real China, should I say, well, it's fake to me, because we are the only one true China, and then we attacked Japan, and then we got involved in a world war, with the Soviet Union on our side, and now we are slowly but surely just uh, taking back our land from the inevitable naval invasions that happen to happen at a regular rate. We're also trying to produce a bunch of weapons, although currently we're a little bit in the hole for weapons, uh, but we're working towards fixing that. And uh, and when we do, we're going to start using some of this 50, 55 million uh, manpower to actually do something and just, you know, s you know, trample people, really. Because we certainly aren't going to be shooting anything because our weapons are fucking shite. We could upgrade to military uh, weapons too, but that's not a good idea because we just can't... <laughs> it takes too long to produce them. Uh, we just need weapons for all of our 55 million people. That's kind of how we got here. Uh, but as I say, watch yesterday's VOD. It's up on YouTube or you can watch it on Twitch. Born the Skills is now following. Thank you very much for the follow, man. Really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, feel free to feel free to watch. I'm also going to chop it up and stick it on YouTube um, in the future as well, so that it can be uh, consumed in 20 minute bite sized chunks on my channel, youtube.com forward slash orbital potato. Ah, <sighs> that was a good summary. I feel I feel that I feel that I did the game credit. It really has been crazy. It really has been crazy. A really crazy awesome game. Oh, also, we've got no navy. We've got literally zero navy because only recently did we manage to uh, to get the to get the coast. Uh, we could we subs. We don't even have subs. We don't even have the tech for subs. I guess we could get the tech for subs, but um, I haven't yet really. Not not yet, unfortunately. I will though. I will. I'll uh, I'll do my best to get subs. Oh look, here come. Two naval invasions at the same time. Ho ho. And a third one is just about to land as well. Ah, you see, naval invasions, they just never fucking go away, do they? Never go away. Mao, can you kindly do something about this situation here, buddy? I mean You did kinda say that you were you were garrisoned up here, so kindly protect protect things over here. Uh, you should invade Tibet. Oh, would you would you look at this? Look, we're justifying on them right now. On the 24th of January, we're going to be able to walk right up and just walk all over them. We're also justifying against Nepal. Um, 24th of January, once again, we'll be walking over this entire region. So, as soon as that's done, we should be able to just close the door on this. Naval planes could help also. It's... Come on. Like, it's not... It's not going to be possible. I don't... 
I don't have the production capability to build guns and naval planes. The only thing that I have production capability to do is build weapons and people and just throw weapons at people and then they charge into battle. That that's how it works, right? There there is no there is no other way to win. There's no there's no navy, there's no air force, there's never going to be a navy, there's never going to be an air force. All there is is people. People and guns. That's all there is. And that 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 sucks. <laughs> that really sucks, but it's also you know, it's kind of cool, I guess. Um, if throwing millions and millions of people at the enemy is your style. Yeah, exactly, the Russian way. Yugoslavia has capitulated. Is this great news for us? I guess it is. Oh, shit. That's us that took it over. Oh. Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? Uh, could we justify against you? We could justify against you. I mean, we're not actually getting that much um, political power per day at the moment, but... Ah, sooner rather than later. We'll eventually be in control of the situation. Uh, I'm so glad that Poland is... So glad that Poland is... Um, is with us. We could boost party popularity in Poland. That would be a really great idea. If we could get Poland to flip over... Then... That would be super strong. Oh... What, are you telling me that there's more naval invasions going on? Don't be ridiculous. Only another three naval invasions? Ugh, oh, you don't say. You don't say. Uh, what do we want to research? Could research atomic weapons, but I don't really care about atomic weapons that much. I hope the United States hasn't gone for atomic weapons. That's what I hope for. Because uh, otherwise, we might be in a little bit of trouble. Might be in a little bit of trouble indeed. Uh, we've almost completed... Almost completed our entire doctrine, which I don't think I've ever done that before. I've never prioritized it in that in uh, in the way that we've prioritized it. Five five days for motorized for motorized. Honestly, I don't even need it. Don't even need it. Do not even. Although, yeah, f you know, for five days we might as well, right? I don't need. I don't need it though. I don't plan on ever using it. Uh, how are we doing for weapons? Hey, this is good. Complete Harambe warfare, damn right. This is good. We're we're actually recovering. The shortage will last for 33 days. That's not long. That's not long at all. We've basically within the last sort of like um six months, we've brought down a deficit of like sixty thousand weapons to twenty one thousand. From sixty thousand to twenty one thousand. That's that's a big move. That's a big move. Uh, how long does mechanized take? 159 days? That's a long time. That is a long time. Uh, weapons 3. We could get weapons 3. Not like it really makes that much of a difference. Uh, but I would love to get this bad boy. That would be pretty cool. 138 days. Sure. Sign me up. Uh, flexible line as well, as soon as that's done. As soon as this is done, actually, we, we could probably upgrade to the next level of inventory equipment, because that means that we'll be able to maintain pretty much all of our production efficiency, which I really value, actually. It's very, very important to me. Probably one of the most important things that we have. Uh, you, purple dude, you don't have anything to do, so just, you know, trek back across India, basically, and uh, and attack them. Yeah, fuck it. There you go. Just just do that. You might as well. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Also, we need to be ready for January because when January does eventually come around, we'll uh, we'll be ready to take them. Mansi Dong question motives of Nepal. Honestly, there should be a way to just like threaten them, like there is in uh, EU4. If we could just threaten war against Nepal, there is like a zero percent chance that they would say no. We could just like. In incorporate them immediately. Same with Tibet, probably. I, I think we probably intimidate Tibet to a certain degree as well. Um, also, we've got some pretty exciting stuff coming up. Um, Finland, we're going to really fuck with. I mean, it's only taken, like, you know, literally five years. Um, but we boosted the party popularity for fucking ages, and now we're about, to, uh, we're about to finish our coup on them. So the 31st of January, we've also got to look out for that. Um... 
Soviet Union is not going to attack Poland. Uh, we're going to boost the party popularity in Poland. We're going to try. We're going to try our very best. We're going to try our very best to invite these guys to our faction. If we could get Poland on side, if we could get Poland on side, that would be majorly great for us. Look at this shit show. Look at this fucking shit show. We're barely keeping control of this area. Yeah, we're we're barely keeping control of this area. It's ugh. garrisoning doesn't work. Let me tell you, garrisoning just doesn't fucking work. It just it just doesn't. If it was working, then we wouldn't be fucked right now. But it doesn't work. So there you go. Uh, nationalist Spain, are you ready to capitulate yet? Why? How are you not ready to capitulate yet? How is France not fucking you up? Why is everybody focusing on me, right? Look, we've got fucking Hitler's best friend Franco over here. But, uh, why not fuck with them? Not me. Tibetan workers, your liberation is near. Oh ho 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 ho. The sweet, sweet sound of... Sweet, sweet sound of invasion. Don't give up on invading. Oh, believe you me, I, I don't plan on it. I do not plan on it. Um, there's no way that we can get this guy to be our call to arms, guarantee independence, join wars. Yeah, there's no way that we can... Um, there's no way that we can somehow get control of their territory. Unfortunately. I would have loved to have taken control of that, but alas, we cannot. Alright, Mr. Purple Dude, you're going to attack. We're going to literally barrel through this area, and I would expect us to get it within... Uh, probably by the end of the year, if I'm completely honest. I don't think this is going to be a particularly uh, big battle, but you never know. It could be. Uh, meanwhile, we're almost, you know, finished taking back France, which is good, because you know, I'm still kind of annoyed that we lost it in the first place. Never should have lost in the first place. Garrisoning. Here we can see how garrisoning is absolutely pathetic and it doesn't really do anything for us. Uh, research. Did we need any research? I guess maybe some more encryption. Um, factory repair speed. Factories are fine. They're not getting bombed. Nobody uses bombers. The AI doesn't even bomb me, bitch. Feels good. Feels good to know that they're not going to bomb me. But, um... How, what's the speed on this? 61 days for that Great War tank. We still haven't researched the Great War tank. I love how this was invented in, you know, 1918. And now it's 1942. For 30 years or whatever, for 20-something years, we've just been like, Nah, you know what? We know that this exists, but we're just not going to bother to do anything about it. Like, nobody. Not the government, not anybody. So, there you go. Just a funny little observation. Uh, infantry anti-tank... Yeah, let's get infantry anti-tank. I think that's cool. Let's do that. Considering considering we only have infantry, I, you know, it seems only right to give them anti-tank. Maybe we can give them anti-air as well. Maybe we can get some, like, missile launches or something. That would be great. That would be fun. But somehow, I think, I think perhaps not in World War II. But maybe I'm just being uh, pessimistic. You never know. Okay, good, 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 good. And you're going to get taken soon. Matsudong Dong questions Tibetan sovereignty. Oh, baby, I do. Oh, baby, I do. I do question the Tibetan sovereignty. That's for certain. Can we put a front line on Tibet yet? Oh, we totally can. Um, Well, Tibet and Nepal, I guess. We might as well just go for them both at the same time. Excuse me? Okay. Let's not do that then. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Uh we'll just take a front line up here. Alright, or just that. Just just in the you know, just a front line on Nepal works for me too. If that's what you want to do, then uh, then that's fine. It works for me. It absolutely works for me. Ah, oh, France, you're being a little bit more of a tough opponent than I gave you credit for. You know, I know I've teased you in the past, but, you know, you've really, you've really improved. You really have improved. All right. 
constructions, we're still converting to military factories. That's pretty good. Weapons. Oh my god, we're totally, totally fine for weapons now. Holy shit, who'd have thought it? Who'd have thought it? We actually came out the hole. We did it. We totally, totally did it. And we've now got a bunch of spare weapons. Hey, that's really good. That's really good. That means that we can train a whole bunch more people. Um, I don't think we can train any more people, actually. At least at once. Oh, apparently we can. I'm just going to train the maximum amount of people that I possibly can. Um, uh, we can train at most 642k men, capped by maximum manpower of the field. 75% of 85k. Okay, minimum 100k. Okay, cool. So we basically cannot train any other men. Uh, however, we do need infantry equipment, and now we're going to be back down in the hole. How much do we need? 21k. Uh, okay, so we've got basically uh, a, a shortage that lasts for 21 days. Ah, you know, a shortage of 21 days. That's nothing. That's nothing at all. Uh, you know, that's it's a holiday. Okay. How are we doing for resources? We're doing fine for resources. If we lose substantial amounts of land, then we'll have to worry about resources. But for now, we don't. Okay, so you've got areas to protect, and you're just not really protecting against them. That's great. Look at this garrisoning whole. Look at this garrisoning thing working. It's lovely to see that it does indeed work. There we go. Going a little bit of an adventure, just to capture the land back. Yep, and you go around there, and you go around there, and that should cap us back a little bit of land. Not like it particularly matters, but. Uh, there you go. 1st of January, 1943. That's a damned good job, if ever I did say so. Hey, look! Soviets are coming back. Oh, that's because the Soviets are getting fucked this time. Rather than me getting fucked. Better them than me. As far as I'm concerned. Because, haha... <laughs> I, uh... I'm not a big fan of getting getting killed like that, you know? It's not a... Not a, not a deal that I'm a fan of. Uh, let's get some more... Support equipment, I guess. Let's just line all these out. I mean, we're going to get more factories anyway. As we convert more of them. We might as well just queue them up to be immediately put into use. It's quite poetic, isn't it? Immediately put into use. Well, maybe it's not poetic. Who knows? Uh, either way, when are we done with Nepal? Uh, about 10, 10 days, give or take. Concentrated industry. Whoop, 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 whoop. That is pretty good. When are we done with this? 61 days. That's quite a lot of days. But we'll eventually get there. 79 days for that. 400 days for a nuclear reactor. I do not care about a nuclear reactor. But maybe it's worth it. Maybe it's worth it. Maybe it's worth it. Honestly, all of the tech that we're researching right now is... It's really big tech. Like, if we have a look at this, um, infantry anti-tank is probably maybe the least big, but it's still pretty darn big. Um, guerrilla warfare, as, or guerrilla warfare, is uh, is still very, very important. It's the last little bit of our doctrine, so that's really cool. Uh, inventory equipment is really big, and the flexible line is probably the biggest piece of tech that we'll ever research uh, in this campaign, considering the, um, the essentialness of weapons. Let's justify the war goal. Yep, great. You're going to take 175, 125 days. That's what, like a third of a year? So maybe like May or sometime you'll get done. That's cool. That works for me. Um, May time is uh, is good. Southern China. There's going to be a naval invasion in southern China. Really? That does, you know, that literally doesn't surprise me in the slightest. That literally doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Um, let's just capture this little French port which is somehow owned by France. Just doesn't make any sense, but there you go. Don't understand how it works, but that's the way of the world sometimes. That's the way of the world sometimes. How's the Naomi army doing up here? It's doing better with the fact that the Soviets are around to help. Just clean up if necessary, I think. That's, that's quite nice. Yeah, so garrisoning, as you can probably tell, does very little against the repetitive naval invasions of uh, of the enemy. So there you go. 
We're still making you communist. You're still not a communist. No faction. We can't invite you to our faction because you're not communist, so... Bloody hell. Uh, when is Finland flipping? Should be really soon, actually. Oh, shit. It's going to be um, 31st of January, so 10 days, give or take. That's pretty big. Uh, Poland, Poland should be... Yeah, we should be boosting their popularity. Uh, uh, sh well, sorry, we should be boosting the communist popularity. Uh, so that's kind of fun. What do I think about Apple and the iPhone 7? Eh, it's not for me. Some people like them. Not for me. Personally. Justification for conquering Nepal and Tibet is finished. Well, guess what? Nepal? Buddy, you're getting fucked. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you're getting fucked. Yep. There we go. Um, let's give you a goal. There we go. And just engage. Straight up engaged. Look, why why would you bother? Yeah, okay, great. Everybody joins Nepal. I get it. I, I know what you mean. It's fine. Um, are we at war with these guys, actually? Oh, shit, we totally are at war with, uh, with Afghanistan now. Huh. I didn't think that would ever happen. Are we at war with Iran? No. We are boosting their popularity, though. Yeah, Nepal's going down. Nepal is uh, is definitely going down. This game uses the wrong pole in the pole flag, does it? I didn't know that. That's news to me. That is news to me. All right, well, Nepal is dead anyway, so don't even need to just bother stopping with these guys. We can pretty much straight up head on to... Um, pretty much head on to this place. Oh, the fire of revolution now burns. Red Finland declared war on Finland. Okay, let's have a look at that, actually. Red Finland. Can we... Can we team up with these guys somehow? I would love to be friendly with these guys. Is that something that we can do? I don't think we can. Uh... No, why? Why why can we not be why can we not team up with you? We need to be at peace to send volunteer forces. Expeditionary forces? We must be the same faction. I mean I would love to be in the same faction as as these guys. Alright, Tibet joined the Allies. Look, yeah, I know. Everybody come to Tibet. That's fine. Uh non aggression pact. Yep. Sign me up. Start land lease. Let's lend them some equipment. Um, inventory equipment, yes, we'll give them... We'll give them a lot of stuff. We'll give them 150 units monthly. Uh, that's not very much, actually. Red Finland has 20... Okay, so we can only give them as many as their convoys can take. Ah, that's, that's, that's fine. We'll, we'll do that. Uh, we could lease them some convoys as well. We'll lease them all of our convoys. Yeah. Okay, let's lend them lend them our convoys. Oh shit, they're now totally in the same league as us. Which means that that's going to be Russia's excuse to pretty much go and attack Finland. Which is really cool. Really, really cool. And was actually the whole intention. Um, I mean, that was it was literally just an excuse to get Russia to attack Finland. Alright. Okay. Six days, apparently, until we win that. Our material will help support their efforts. Great. And now I shall go and give them as many weapons as I can muster. Uh, I'll join their war. I'll join the Finnish Civil War. Whatever. Not like it really matters, but there we go. Modify land lease. Can I do this? Um... Japan has joined Finland as our enemy. Great, the, fin the, war the wars have been merged. Happens every 15 minutes or so. Great. Um, expeditionary force. Should we do an expeditionary force? I would love to, actually. That would be really fun. Um, let's give them some weapons. Let's give them some weapons. They've got 103. So now they can handle... 400 units monthly? Yeah, I think 400 units monthly seems like a pretty good idea. The second Finnish Civil War. Oh, okay, is it? 
There we go. We're going to continue to support them by pumping units into them. That sounds like a good idea to me. Nepal, you're dead. You're totally dead in a major, major way. Nepal has capitulated. I mean, was it even was it even up for question? I don't even I don't even know if that was ever um, ever up for debate. Uh, what's going on here? Insufficient resources. What do we need? We need steel. Why? How do we need steel? Also, why have we got a 475, uh, 478 uh, oversupply of tungsten? It's perhaps a little bit of overkill. Um, might need to get control back of this region before we get more steel. Oh, we're going to get a little bit of tungsten, which is kind of nice. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, state modifiers, gentle minus 20%. Um, not super a big fan of that, to be honest. British Raj, uh, gentlest. We could be gentlest. Local manpower minus 100%. Occupation cost. Um, I care about local resources. Maybe we can go for that. Harsh. We'll go for harsh, yeah. Let's do that. Yep, you, 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 harsh, harsh. That might sort our problems out. I think it might, actually. Or not. Could just compound them. It could just completely compound them. Yeah, well, that's the risk that you run, I suppose, isn't it? Not Finland. Hey, Finland is getting liberated. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, this is the best thing that's ever happened to Finland. Finland, the real Finland is going to get fucked. Red Finland, on the other hand. Red Finland is going to take over and rule the bloody world. You know? That's that's how it's going to be. Afghanistan? Afghanistan's going to get fucked as well. Um, I would love, 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 love to get involved in Iran as well. Maybe we'll stage a coup. A communist coup. Where do we want to stage a coup? Maybe on the... Not Kurdistan. Over here? Over here? Uh, yeah, over here sounds like a good place. Let's start cooing that. Yeah. The Reds were massacred after the first war. Well, you know, history's not gonna work like that. Oh, what? Oh, shit. Nazi Germany just got defeated. Okay, we get to make some, um... We get to make some demands. I mean, obviously we're gonna take this. We're going to take all the states, of course. We can't make any demands on on that. Or puppet them? I, I don't know why we can't take all the states. I mean, we have cores on them. Or retake all core states. That's the one that I want. There we go. Um, Hi, what have I missed? You've missed a heck of a lot. You've missed a heck of a lot. Um, We are... We are really fucking with everybody right now. Uh, I don't think we can make any claims on the German Reich, to be honest. Um, or Italy. Yunnan? We can take all states, I think, right? Um, anything else that we really care about? I mean, we could... Could we puppet Italy? I mean, Italy doesn't even bloody exist anymore. Satellite, Albania, satellite. What do we even want to? What do we even want to do? What do we even want to do? Germany, Hungary. I mean, for sure, right? We want to retake all of these cores. We want to take Yunnan, because I don't even know where Yunnan is, but I think it's around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Yeah, Yunnan. So we're going to take all of Yunnan. Take all of China. Oh, God. This is... This is going to be great. This is going to be great. This is going to be really good for us. Um, and the German Reich just apparently doesn't exist. Score 1005. Holy shit. Like, wow. Alright, that's that's great. I'll take that. Um, satellite Kingdom of Libya? Can we just literally make demands that are super crazy? I mean, maybe we'll puppet you and then... 
Satellite Kingdom of Libya. Hungary can't puppet you. So we'll puppet Albania and Satellite. Okay, let's give this a shot. Let's give this a shot. Um, take African states. Oh, don't believe you me. We're gonna we're gonna puppet uh, Italy. Let's end that turn. Let's see how it goes. Um, I take it that it didn't go well. Paused. Def yeah. Why can we not? Did we not do it? Did we not get it? I think we should have got it, right? Uh, no, I didn't want to do that. Can we do more? Oh shit, there's still more up for grabs. Oh god damn, alright. I guess we'll pop it hungry as well. China, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. I mean, Turkey, Slovakia. These should all be under the Soviet Union, right? Done. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, we should now see that Italy, wherever the hell they even exist. Do they even exist anywhere? Oh, the game may have frozen. Oh, oh, ding, 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 ding. Look at all these news articles. All right. Italian Union has capitulated. Slovak Socialist Republic has capitulated. People's Democratic Republic has capitulated. Socialist Republic of Germany has capitulated. Uh, Libyan Socialist Republic has capitulated. Okay, so at the end of the day, I don't think we really gained anything. Because, I mean, obviously we gained in China, where it's now officially ours, so to speak. Um, which is kind of nice. French Commune is doing really, really well for itself. Um, but more importantly... How is China still... How did China get this? How... How on earth? So they managed to get back some of their... How... How... I took all of China. I took all of the states of China. What the fuck? What the fuck? What? 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 It wasn't the wrong... It wasn't the wrong China. I puppeted all of their states. Well, justify a war goal against them then. Retake all the core states. Yep. And it will take 60 days. We got a truce. How long do we have a truce with them for? Until March 1953. That's not much of a truce. That's fucking nothing. That is nothing at all. We're gonna just... <laughs> we're gonna retake them like there's no tomorrow. I mean, they're not even... They're not allied with anybody of importance. I mean, fucking nationalist Spain. Nationalist Spain can't do shit about them. Great, I guess. Fantastic. Um, in the meantime, let's continue just fucking up Tibet. It works for me. I, I, I just don't understand. I don't understand how we could possibly have not won that in a major, major way. That is so weird. That's so weird because you saw me. I, I clicked all the right buttons. I'm almost certain. Thank you very much for the follow, by the way, man. I, uh, I didn't notice that, but I, I see that you did follow. Cheers. No, I'm convinced that I did the right thing, but that's so weird. That is so, so weird. Um... You have exiled divisions. Do I care? No, not really. Uh, resistance to occupation? Ah, you don't say, buddy. You don't say. We are still technically at war. Our war participation is 47%. And the Soviet Union is at 50%. And then nobody else has contributed anything. Socialist Turkey, however. Holy shit. Message from Estonia. Changes their diplomatic stasis with us. Council non-aggression pact. Whoa. Okay. Um... So, Poland cancelled their non-aggression pact with us? Oh, shit. Um, look, buddy, look. I need you not to declare war on me. I'm too busy. I'm too busy not doing that. Also, we finished our doctrine, which is super, super good. Oh, man, that's super annoying that we didn't get to 
fuck up China even more than we than we wanted to. Um, yeah, whatever. Get this. 200 days. I'll take it. National focus. We probably shouldn't get one, considering we don't need one. Chinese supermarket. I'm telling you, it's volatile as fuck. Volatile as fuck. Why are there so many? You. Why are there? I'm sure that they were they were British troops, right? Are they? Did did the fucking UK lease Tibet some troops? What the fuck is going on? This is the weirdest game by a long shot. We've got loads of inventory equipment. Man, that's that's really great. That really is great. What? Whoa, what the heck was that? Mao Zedong brings revolution to Bhutan. Where, where is Bhutan? Apparently not even, not even here. So, where even is Bhutan? I don't even know. I mean, it's somewhere around, right? It's somewhere around here, isn't it? Yeah, Bhutan's right there. Oh, it's spelled with a H, that's why. Um, can we declare war against them yet? Soon, we're about halfway there, that's fine. Non-aggression pact request from China. Ha 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 Uh, no, fuck you. Fuck you. Go suck a dick. Um, yeah, we did lose a lot of our manpower because there's 38 million people there and 20 million people there and 26 million people there and 25 million people there and 43 million people there. So, you know, there's a lot of manpower in that area. The coasts are where the manpower actually is. I mean, in all honesty, I was going to struggle to get through uh, 50 million at the rate that I was going. I mean, we're still going to we're going to get all this territory back. We're going to we're going to regain our manpower. Don't you worry. Um so I wouldn't even worried about it. I wouldn't even worry about it. We're going to get all of our manpower back. Not even not even worried about it. Let's get rocket sites. Why not? Why the heck not? National focus? Nah, not yet. Not yet. Still can't believe that we've got um, good old this place. Uh, I I don't know if I don't know if occupied states give you manpower, but we are just retaking the core states. So I don't know if that counts for something different because I don't know. Technically, we have a claim on them somehow. I guess I don't I don't understand how it works. I don't understand how anything works in reality. But um, Tibet has capitulated. Not surprised. Not bloody surprised at all. It was a pretty easy battle. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. It wasn't that difficult. Yep, you're moving in there. Perfect. Ready to fuck up Bhutan. Whenever, really. Nepal, we own their asses. Feels really good. Feels good, man. Feels good, man. Um... Okay, we're back. We're back past the 30 million mark. That's also kind of nice. Ah, oh, god damn it. What is this? Who even... Socialist Republic of... Why are we at war with a Socialist Republic? <laughs> there's no way. There's no... Another problem with this game, right, is there's no way to say, Hey, I made a mistake. Let's just stop having war. Let's just chill out, you know? It's that everything you do has such a high percentage chance of turning into, like, a massive world war. That it's just, it's just so difficult to do anything. Okay. We need some more steel. I'll get myself some more steel, shall we? Might as well. Um, alright. We're getting more troops. We're getting more troops, which is great. Let's also train some more people. Okay. There we go. Okay, we're literally training the maximum amount of people possible. Okay, let's get you people to be plonked down over there, I guess. Inventory anti-tank. Good job, good job, good job. You people can get plonked down over there. Yeah. I'm pretty certain that everybody should be part of, part of an army. Apart from maybe these guys. Yeah, those guys aren't part of an army. Um, you could probably be part of Mao's army. Mao's army is somewhat of a disappointment to me. Austrian Soviet Republic has capitulated. These are dark times. <laughs> These are dark times. You know, you remember that time in World War II when the Austrian Socialist Republic capitulated? Oh, that was a dark time, that was. Hungarian People's Republic. Shit, the Soviet Union has done work. And me and Turkey, we're 
we're fucking friends because, you know, the socialist. It's great. It's really good work. Russia did Russia did a damn good job, actually. They did a really good job. Alright, there we go. Um, that should help us along quite a bit. Okay, so you should all be in part of Mao's army. I think, Mao, your army's a little bit too aggressive, buddy. Like, I, I don't think garrisons actually work. I mean, I know they don't work. I was kidding myself into thinking that they did work. But they don't work. Uh, so, let's go and do that. You are over here, still taking France. That's cool. Naomi Army, you're increasingly not able to do what I want you to do. Because you just don't have the troops for it. Now, is everybody part of an army, right? Maybe like one or... Yeah, okay, so everybody is part of an army. That's fine. Um, Naomi Army, I'm going to put you on the border over here with China. Because we are eventually going to go back to war with China. I mean, our truce is fucking up, for God's sake. Um, we can pretty much supporting growth of a political party in China. I'm going to cancel the, that boost because we don't need it. We're going to fuck them up anyway. Um, how long do we have a truce with them for? It can't be much longer. China is improving. Soviet Union has a non-aggression pact with China. Do we have a non-aggression pact with China? I'm certainly going to be attacking them. They have a non-aggression pact with your faction leader. Oh, shit. Really? Red Finland has capitulated. How is Red Finland capitulated? I gave them everything they wanted. How on earth did they manage to get capitulated? The Reds did not win. I mean, they're still going to get... Finland's going to get fucked by Russia. Which is good for us, I guess. But god damn. How did that happen? I don't know, man. I don't know. I do not know. Um, okay, so Naomi Army, I guess since you're not going to be any use attacking China, you're going to have to attack here, right? Yeah, attack Japan. I mean, oh, fuck's sake. Fuck. How on earth... How on earth are we not attacking these guys? That's such bullshit. That's actually such horseshit. Ah, god damn it. It's really annoying, actually. Really, really, really annoying. Yeah, just go and attack this place. Come on. Attack. There we go. Come on, let's do it. Let's finish it up. I want to move everybody out to Afghanistan, and we'll fuck with Afghanistan instead. These guys are fascists. Well, apart from the fact that I'm uh, fucking with them. Um... Are my convoys being sunk? I gave all of my convoys to the f to the red finish. And they fucked them. They fucked them. So there you go. Never give your convoys to the red finish. As you could probably tell, it was it was never bound to be a, a great idea. Look, equip. Here. There we go. You'll move out, and we'll we'll do that. Okay, sweet. Good good job, everybody. Good job. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. Uh, convoys near Japan, probably. I don't know. Um, what is this? Yeah, look. Sunk. 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 Yep. I don't think a single convoy ship got out. <laughs> You're right. I don't think a single convoy ship got out of this area. Ha, huh, wow. Not even a single... Not even a single one. All of the convoy ships just were immediate, immediately left the harbor and were completely shredded. Um, let's put you in... Na oh, shit, no. Not Naomi's army. Let's put you in... Mao's army. Yeah. Is everybody part of a group? Yep. Every part of a group. I can never distinguish between like the Soviet and the uh, and the Chinese emblem. 
All right, we're just gonna fuck up Afghanistan. Honestly, I think that's the best thing that we can do. Uh, Soviets are still having a little problem with the UK and America up over there. That's fine. Fucking China, man. China, how is China still at war with Japan? China is still at war with Japan, so Japan is gonna take their land. Japan is going to take their land. God, what a f what a horrible situation for China to be in. You know, you know what the great thing is is that the the great thing is that if Japan takes their land, then we just take Japan's land, <laughs> which which works for us. It means that we win. Mao, my main man, my main man Mao. Uh, let's put you got a little a little something something there. Yeah, go and attack that. I mean, yeah, Russia's flag is a little bit darker than than the PRCs, but it's still it's still pretty difficult to distinguish, at least for me. Okay. Let's get you to attack. Come on. Come on. Get attacking. Uh Naomi's army. I don't want to engage Naomi's army because I kind of want China to just be wiped out by Japan. It's gonna be it's quite funny to be honest. Um Japan Does it count as them being on our side? No, it doesn't. They're not on their side. Oh. Yeah, that's weird. That's just weird. That's so strange. So strange. Current wars Japan, China German Romano war. But Japan is very clearly at war with China, right? They're at war with fake China. They're at war with us, and then they're also at war, at war with, with fake China, yeah. Spanish war on Romania. Wow, that's... How is the Spanish war on Romania even related to Japan, the Japanese war against China? It doesn't even make any sense. How is there still British people over here? Latvia, one division and over 200,000 deaths. Yep, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Okay, how are things going in Iran? Uh, how far through the coup are we? Ah, uh, we're not bad. Uh, it's about 40%. Oh, well, maybe not 40%. Uh, maybe about 40%, actually. Well, just under 20%, maybe. That's still not bad, actually. All things considered. Um, when are we getting some new troops? We do need some more troops. Uh, da, 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 da. Unit will be finished training 14th of May. What do you need? You need anti-tank and... Yeah, and probably a whole bunch of stuff, really. Yep, you guys are being trained up. Lovely, lovely, lovely. You guys are being trained up. You guys are being trained up. We're training a lot of people. We are training a heck of a lot of people. It's it's great to be honest. It's really good. It's it's great to do it, but um, it just takes a while. But um, you know, hey ho, doesn't really matter. Hey, we did it. Bhutan is now officially dead. <laughs> now, how many troops do we need to dedicate to Bhutan? Oh my God. Fucking France. Fucking France. It's just not even... It's just it's just fucking annoying, right? It's just fucking annoying. Like, there's nothing... There's nothing that any of them are going to do. Like, the number of times that I've just... I've redefined... Oh, are you part of an army? Oh, you're not part of an army. Uh, I'm going to put you in... Hungarian People's Republic has capitulated. Honestly, I'm not surprised. I'm going to get you all to come out here. And then I'm just going to declare war on Bhutan. There we go. United Kingdom has called Bhutan as our enemy. Great. Good job. Look. Look at this. Look at our allies. Look at our enemies. I That list is too long. How many deaths have I got? Uh, probably a lot. How is it that I checked again? I... I can remember. Uh, I 
can't remember. How did I check? How do I check deaths? It's not there. I used to know how to do this. Shit. Whoops. How do I check deaths? I can't remember how I check deaths. Um. Cometurn. Can I change that name? That's a pretty pathetic name in all honesty. Yeah, how do I check the deaths? I can't remember how I check deaths. I, I used to remember to. In the war participation? Oh, shit, yeah, of course it is. Here it is, yeah. Except it's not this war. Except, no, we're not involved in this war, are we? No, we're not involved in that war. It, we're involved in this war. This is the one. Okay, yeah, two million deaths. Two million casualties. Two million casualties. Ah. <laughs> uh. 179 divisions. The French have got... Oh, United Kingdom have got up to 613 divisions. God damn. God damn. That is... That is quite something. What do we even need? We need steel? Ah, whatever. Fuck steel, man. Fuck steel. Mao. I'm gonna give you a, a sneaky little mission objective here. You're going to try and capture this area. There you go. Engage. Engage, engage, engage. Okay, has, has Japan wiped out China yet? Because as soon as they have, I'm going to swoop on in and I'm going to get myself some more manpower. Not like it really matters, but, you know, manpower is manpower. Manpower is manpower is manpower. Uh... Almost finished off Afghanistan as well. Did we... Did I... Are we at war with these guys? I think I did declare war on these guys, yeah. Where are my 30k troops? They should be coming across this way. How long is it going to take them to arrive? 96 days. Really? 90, 96 days. 96... Really? Just go and... Just go and attack this area. Like, come on. Just go and attack this area. Can I get, like, a couple of divisions to just... Go and... Be assigned to this, please? Yeah, unit assignment mode? Nope. That's not the one. Strategic redeploy them. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, there we go. Just... Yeah, I'm just gonna get... I'm not I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna equip these guys to Mao. And then Mao can just do whatever the fuck he wants with them. There we go. Mao, I got, I got your back, bro. I got your back. Mao is still going strong, in all honesty. I, you know, he hasn't been killed, he hasn't been assassinated yet. See, this is how little I care about Afghanistan. Like, the Soviets aren't going to do anything about it, so it's, it's, a, it's, you know, it's up to me to do it, so I might as well just do what I want to do for a while. And fuck France down here, man, though. Fuck them. What the heck is up with that? That's just such a scummy move. Okay, just wait until Japan take this last little bit of China, and then we're going to swoop in and take it all for ourselves. Oh, baby. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. How many people are actually on this peninsula? 15 million. Ah, whatever. I can deal with not having access to them. I mean, we're, we have more than enough manpower anyway. It's, you know, we've got so much manpower that it's just a bloody nuisance at this point. How is there eight units? How, how does Tibet still have eight units? How, how does that even work? I, I, I wiped out Tibet. You're not telling me that Tibet hid, like, a hundred units fucking in Bhutan. Uh, I don't understand. What else I don't understand is why we can't do anything about the fact that we literally completely surround Bhutan, right? If we just, if we were just like, oh, hey, by the way, uh, no food or anything is getting in or out, we would, we would crack them in, like, two days. I mean, not, well, not two days, but... I'm pretty sure they'd break after realizing they wouldn't be able to get any food. So rather than like wasting our soldiers' lives and their soldiers' lives, why don't we just 
Why don't we do it diplomatically? I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know why we. I don't know why we do this. I don't know why we have to, to go through the pain each time. It's just annoying. Come on, Japan. Oh my god, the United States helping out Japan in this fucking war? What the fuck? What the fuck? Just, what the fuck? Is, what the fuck is up with this game? What the fuck is up with this game? It doesn't even make any sense to me. It doesn't even make any sense to me. Jesus Christ. It, it It's just been a wild game, in all honesty. It really has been. Um... Do I care about that? Nope. Do I care about resistance to occupation? Nope. Insufficient resources? Nope. The fact that we're at war? I can't get rid of that, even if I bloody well tried. I'm sure we lost some convoys. There we, yeah, there we go, we did lose some convoys. That's what happens when you have zero naval power at all. But, uh, you know, just the typical, typical life of potato stuff, really. Ah, very annoying. Okay, Mao, looks like he did it. Looks like he bloody well did it. Uh, ready to fuck up Japan pretty soon. Just need to let them get fucked up first. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to take the Naomi army off this front line sort of job. And instead, I'm going to put the Mao army on instead. Mm, which is kind of risky, I guess, but... Whatever. There we go. Yeah, I mean, Mao's got 101 troops in there, so that's that's a substantial number more. Uh, have we taken Bhutan yet? Honestly, if we haven't taken Bhutan yet, why the fuck haven't we taken Bhutan yet? Oh, look, Afghanistan is fighting back. They're getting some more land. Lovely. Good on them. Doesn't make a difference, I'm afraid. You're still gonna die just as soon as I finish off dealing with this stuff here. Um, okay, Japan is pushing out, which is a little bit annoying because they're pushing out with the help of the United States, who are probably much more technologically advanced than myself, considering I have eh, basically got no weapons. Um, what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna upgrade to we're gonna upgrade to weapons three, I think. Now, we're, our production efficiency is going to take a hit, although we did get the tech that um, that allows us to keep as much of, yeah, production efficiency retention as possible, which is really, really cool. Uh, super, super happy with that, and we should be able to switch on over with, I want to say minimal disruption, but there's going to be disruption. And, yeah, we're going to be running out of... A lot of resources, probably. Wow, holy shit, we need lots. We need 200 steel. We need 200 steel. We have not enough steel. Okay, there's 16 steel over there, but that's nowhere near enough. Wow, that's a lot of rubber over there. Fuck me. Where's the steel at, though? That's the question. A lot of tungsten. It's kind of nice, but we've already got enough tungsten. Um, yeah, I don't know, actually. Where, where the hell are we going to get our steel? What are my specs? Um, I cannot remember off the top of my head. I've got a pretty decent computer, though. I'll, um, yeah, I, I, I can't remember the exact specs right now. Um, yeah, we have nowhere near enough of this stuff. Let's try doing some trade. But I'm... Excuse me? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, fuck. Buy amount. 154 steel. 19 civilian factories. That's... I don't know about that. You know, fuck it. Alright, fuck it. Civilian factories in use, 51. Alright. Let's send 19 of them away. You'll not be able to construct any buildings. Um. 
let's cancel that. What are we actually building right now? We're still converting them to military factories. Okay, uh, let's... Let's just trade them all away. Let's trade them all away. It doesn't actually, like, deal with our problem. Like, at all. I mean, it sorts some of it, but, you know, for the most part, we're still... We still don't have enough resources to do what we want to do. Which kind of sucks. And now we need 131,000 units. 131,000 units. However, we are making more than 103 a day. Which means that we will have this for... How long? How long will we have this deficit for? Well, we don't actually technically have a deficit at the moment. But we kind of do. Uh, select a technology to research. We're working on you, working on you. Experimental rockets is done, so we've got two pieces of tech to work through. I guess we'll get paratroopers, because it's kind of fun to fuck around with paratroopers. And I guess we'll get rocket engines, because it's also kind of funnish, I guess. Yeah, why not? Alright. Stop looking at the resource map mode and actually start looking at real stuff. Uh, so China has almost been completely fucked, fucked to oblivion, which is kind of still a dream, but not really happened as much as I wanted it to. Uh, we've just added some more support for Mao's army. Should help out. Can we just disband you? Hold the divisions, click to unassign, disband. Bhutan has capitulated. Good job, buddy. Good job, Andy's army. You did a great job. You did a really good job. Um, let's go and fuck things up down here. And then we shall try and resume our conquest of Afghanistan. Okay. You're going to move in. How long is this going to take? Arrive in two fucking days? Come on. What is this, 1943? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I presume that we're still getting navally invaded, by the way. Oh, look at that. What a, what a fucking surprise. What a surprise. We're getting navally invaded. Yeah, Naomi's army, you can go and chill out over here. Uh... Yep, Mao's army, you should get down to where you're supposed to be. Yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? And you guys should... You're going to head back there. I do not want you to head back there. I want you to head down here. You don't understand? You feel me? You clearly do not feel me. Yep. You want to work? There we go. Okay, great. You finally path towards where I want you to go. Beautiful. That works for me. As long as, uh, as long as it works, I'll take it. Uh, so yeah, we'll get these guys to line up on the borders, and then we'll, uh, we'll just fuck them. Why are you not doing anything about this? You're an ally of me. Why are you not moving your troop? You're one single troop here. Why did you not stop this invasion? Fucking useless Soviet Union. And, well, not the Soviet Union. More the AI. AI is... is... terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. How much support do we get daily for the communist increase? Uh, put a fallback line around the coast to help with naval invasions. I tried that, and it didn't work. And now it I, I, it just doesn't work. I, I don't even know. I don't even I don't even think there's anything that I can do to really stop. Um, I don't think there's anything that I can do to stop the naval invasions, barring getting um, either air superiority or naval superiority. What the fuck is this shit? What the fuck is going on? Why are my moving troops here? What is this shit? What on earth is happening? Why to dear god am I moving troops? You're lit- you realize Mao, right? You're just throwing troops away because people are dying, right? By one plane. One carrier plane and, and it fucks you up. 
What the fuck? What the f what the fuck? I presume I don't have the infrastructure in this area, but even though, why would you do that? Why would you do that? That just doesn't make any sense. It's a bloody nightmare. All right, there we go. Engage. Just fucking go for it, okay? I don't care that Japan hasn't taken China yet. It's not a concern of mine for now. Okay, 20 more troops. You can be equipped with Mao's army. And you can be assigned to this job. And you'll all get commands. Beautiful. Woohoo, we've taken our manpower down to about 25 million. That's, you know, it's a better place than it's ever been before, I guess. Um, du -du 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 -du. Equipped to Mao. Yep. And plonked there. Perfect. Uh, there is a bunch of stuff that could threaten us up this way. Honestly, this would be so much less of a problem if... I, I, China had just been given to me. Like, I don't understand how, how we didn't get China. The whole point of the, the peace deal, the peace conference, was to get China. And I clicked retake all core states. We didn't get it. We didn't fucking get it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's because I didn't declare the... Maybe I didn't justify against those core states. Maybe that's what it was, actually. Hmm. Maybe that's what it was. Either way, it's still very weird. It's still very, very weird. Okay, Mao, he needs a bunch more people to do his mission of uh, of conquering. Honestly, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive how things are going. Uh, are you an all-adult server? What if you can change something else? Uh, better factory efficiency. I could get better factory efficiency. I absolutely could if I wanted to change my service by requirements, but I could also up it to all adults must serve. I mean, I'm only at a 10% recruitable population right now, and that's more than enough. So I don't think it's really being that um, that bad on my production. It's bad, but it's not, you know, it's not that bad, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. If anybody's trying to board this fucking boat, why would you do that? You're 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 killing yourself. You're killing yourself. You're moving Oh my god. I, I This is this is so stupid. I I don't even understand why you're doing this. In fact, you know what? It's so stupid that I'm actually just going to stop building convoys because that seemingly is the only way to stop this this madness. Um, convoys, cancel building them. Cancel building the convoys. Fuck them. Cancel building that too. Um, if we have no convoys, then we have 25 convoys. But they're getting sunk though. So how the hell... I, I, you know, sometimes I just don't understand things. Sometimes I just do not understand things. Uh, let's get the Naomi army to attack into here. No. No. Alright, whatever. Fuck Hong Kong, I guess. Fuck Hong Kong. Let's get you to attack. Beautiful. Just to do something, you know. And once again, we've got another hole in our French line over there. What are you doing? Why have we got the Grumpage army down here? Oh shit, we must have accomplished our goal and then just insta-failed. I don't understand how that worked, but whatever. Alright, perfect. And the Grumpage army, we can dispatch you straight away. I completely forgot that I had that army down there. I mean, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. It still works. Okay, now we've got zero carry uh, carriers, convoys left, so... That should, that should be fine. That should be fine. We're in a good place, right? Apart from, obviously being completely fucked by uh, by that peace deal. Maybe it was because I didn't declare uh, my interest in states. Maybe I didn't justify against those states. Maybe that was it. Maybe I'm just being unfair against the game. But either way, it's just very confusing to me. Very confusing. And you are going to go here, and then into here. Perfect. We're going to capture Hong Kong again. And it's okay, though. Don't worry. 
we're definitely going to get militarily, navally invaded again. Just like old times. Just like old times. Okay, you should be moving out, yeah? You're moving out, beautiful. Hey, that's that's pretty good to be honest. That is that is pretty damned good. I'll take it. It's not perfect, but it's 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 pretty good. I think that's a pretty good place to wrap the stream up, to be honest, ladies and gents. I feel that we've done quite a lot. We've taken the whole of bloody India, for God's sake. Um, Soviet Union is still struggling in in Europe, but if we can get Poland on our side, right, then then we'd be sitting pretty, you know, pretty pretty. We'd be doing really good if we were. Um, if we were just chilling with Poland. I'm going to start improving relationship uh, relationships. Uh, well, I suppose relationships. But I'm going to start improving relations with them. So that should be kind of nice. Uh, we're going to be continuing this tomorrow. We're, tomorrow is probably going to be our last day of uh, this. And maybe, maybe one more day after this, uh, perhaps. But same time tomorrow, 6 p.m. BST. Uh, I'll be streaming. Hopefully, you can, um, you can join me there. Because tomorrow is probably going to be the epic conclusion of cheeky china i don't know what's going to happen but it's going to be it's going to be big probably it's probably going to involve us getting absolutely shafted by somebody or something or some country i i don't know what's going to happen so you'll have to tune in to see ladies and gents thank you very very much for watching my name of course has been over to potato all of the videos that um that you've seen thank you very much for the follow uh, all of the video that you've seen can be viewed on youtube.com forward slash over to potato click the link in the um, thingy underneath the video, um, you know, also, uh, if you want to help me out on Patreon, that's super, super cool, get your name in the game, currently we've got a couple of Patreons that are, uh, rep that are named after the army, so that's kind of nice, the Grumpage Army is, uh, you know, he's a Patreon, and Naomi, she's also a Patreon, so, really, really appreciate all those people that, uh, that are helping me out in that way too, so tune in tomorrow, um, tune in on YouTube, watch it on YouTube, watch it everywhere, I am streaming tomorrow, and uh, I look forward to it. So, my name's Finobo Potato. This has been Hearts of Iron 4, Cheeky China. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.